what's going on guys welcome back to another video and I'm, i apologize that i've been gone for so long i've been gone for i don't know two or three weeks now my last video was the alex smith trade video so that long ago and i apologize i've been really sick i'm still sick if you guys can tell um but real quick i'm back and i'm gonna be making videos and quickly you guys like this video subscribe if you're new all of that if i get this video to like 25 likes i know that's a small small goal but it's a goal for me 25 likes and i will come out with a mock draft in like a couple of days from now like a full mock draft for you know not only the giants but just the whole draft right there the first round of the, the 2018 draft i'll do a mock draft on that guys my first mock draft and um yeah so 25 likes is the goal right there so remember to subscribe if you're new as well and quickly since i missed out on the mike shula offensive coordinator thing i'll just go over that real quick i think it's a it's a good signing um i don't really think anything much of it really because um first of all mike shula will be the offensive coordinator and the quarterbacks coach so that's good to have because you don't have two people telling you what to do and how to do it in their own in their own way. Uh, you got the offensive coordinator telling the quarterback how he wants to play, and you know there's not going to be any inter interference there. So I like that. And Mike Shula is not going to be calling the plays, so um, I'm not worried about the offensive coordinator position too much. I just want you know Mike Shula to do a good job with you know young quarterback Davis Webb and stuff like that, and Eli Manning. And I just want him to do a good job coaching there, but Pat Shermer will be handling the offensive play calling, so I'm not really worried about Mike Shula, you know, as our offensive coordinator. You know, it's it's nothing, you know, uh, world ending right now. You know, I guess we could have done better, but it's all right. And for the comfortability of Dave Gettleman, used to work in Carolina, so I guess he knows Shula, and there's that. Uh, but let's get into the nitty gritty right now. Um. So news got out, rumor got out about two days ago or maybe even yesterday that LaShawn McCoy was on the trade block and there was also rumor going around that the Giants, uh, I, that the Bills were interested in trading with the Giants and and I was like, okay, I'm listening because I know the Bills have two first round picks and they're consecutive, the 21st and the 22nd consecutively and they're also uh, the Bills are also in talks of trading LaShawn McCoy. He was 29 years old, still has a lot of years left in, uh, you know, in him of good play. You know, I, I, I predict another two or three 1,000-yard season from LaShawn McCoy. So um, he's still going to have a great career, career. And, you know, if the Giants can pull this off, listen, guys, I told you guys from the beginning I was not opposed to trading down with the number two overall pick. It just needs to be a good trade, and I, to me, I don't, I don't know what better candidate, uh, you know, there would be but the Buffalo Bills. I mean, the Buffalo Bills have two picks consecutively. We could even choose to trade up back into the draft with one of those picks, or even both of them. I mean. We can do so much with this if we trade with Buffalo and we grab LaShawn McCoy. And I'm sure it's going to be two, those two first round picks, LaShawn McCoy, and maybe they'll throw a six round pick in there or something like that. But I mean, we'll, we'll be getting a lot. We'll be, we'll be getting a lot. So um, you, they're planning to get Josh Rosen. You could have him really. Um, I, I Like I said, I, I don't see much in uh, Josh Rosen. I, I know a lot, a lot of people are going to kill me in the comments for that. I just Nothing impresses me. Uh, that, you know, everybody's saying that he's one of the best quarterbacks to happen since, you know, uh, the past 10 years from now. I mean, I don't see it anyway. But, LaShawn McCoy, I mean, this is a guy that I've watched for years. As all Giants fans watched, LaShawn McCoy demolished the Giants a bunch, you know, just all the time when the Eagles played the Giants. And even, I think, when the Bills played the Giants, um, LaShawn McCoy did well on us. So, um... You know, having LaShawn McCoy on the Giants would just change a lot of things. It would be weird to see, definitely, to see, you know, number 25 in a blue jersey for the Giants, but I, I'm not opposed to it. I would love LaShawn McCoy on the team. It would fill a hole that we needed instead of getting Saquon Barkley. I understand Saquon Barkley is great and stuff like that, but if we can get, if we can save save that pick for a, a bigger need like an offensive lineman, like a linebacker, uh, like a cornerback, or something like that, I'm not opposed to it whatsoever. So here's what I say we do. I say we trade with Buffalo and we will get like, you know, a first round pick. Their 21st overall pick, their 22nd overall pick, LaShawn McCoy. And they'll probably, like I said, they'll probably throw in like a little, uh, something a little extra, fifth round pick, sixth round pick, fourth round pick, maybe one of those or whatever. 
say we 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 get we get those picks and we get LaShawn McCoy, then we have two consecutive picks. Now, if we decide to use those picks, I wouldn't be mad at that whatsoever. I don't I don't mind that whatsoever. But if they did want to tr- use one of those picks to get back into the first round, like it's you know the 15th, 14th range, um, I wouldn't be opposed to that. You know, you, there's someone like Roquan Smith, middle linebacker out of Georgia. He's somebody that I'm looking at that definitely would would be perfect for the Giants. Um, you know, to come in here and and play for us. So, and a lot of people are projecting him uh, now. He's kind of climbing up the ranks into the top 10, but you know. I've seen him a lot towards the 10 to 15 range. If we could use one of those picks, like the 21st pick, to get back into the, you know, into the middle of the first round, I would love that. Grab Roquan Smith, wait to the 22nd overall pick to just draft somebody else, maybe an old lineman or something like that. Orlando Brown, if we, if we, uh, if he falls that far, Orlando Brown or McGlitchy or whatever. I heard a lot of bad things about McGlitchy, but. It is what it is, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. To me, this is such an interesting topic to talk about because the Giants just don't, we don't trade in the first round. It just doesn't happen. It hasn't happened in a long time. We don't do anything exciting. Dave Gettleman is here. He, you know, you guys know what he did in Carolina. He did, he did do make trades and stuff like that. And um, to me, this is not a bad idea to trade with Buffalo, get two consecutive picks, not only just use those consecutive picks, but we have the option to trade one of them to get back into the first round, and it's like we never really lost much. So it's a win-win situation, really. I mean, if we don't trade, we still have the second overall pick, right? And we can field other options from other teams. So that's all I got for you guys uh, today. Like I said, 25 likes um, on this video will get you a mock draft soon, very soon. And also, my gaming channel, you go ahead and... Uh, the link is in the description below. I just started my Madden uh, Connected Franchise, the New York Giants Connected Franchise. Go ahead and watch that. Episode 1 is up against the Dallas Cowboys. It's going to be uploaded every three days. And if I don't upload it every three days, you guys are free to hound me on that. And, um, yeah, and I also post Fortnite videos if you guys love Fortnite. I love Fortnite. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.